Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well somebody's been watching some of our previous videos and I had a default Divi header here and I did this little hover effect. And they watched the video and they said they're having trouble doing it but they're not actually using the default, they're using a custom header. And it's slightly different for a custom header so I'll show you how to do that today. Going to be a bit of coding in this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code I write, I'll put down below the video. You're welcome to copy it, use it as you will. Okay, we need to go to our additional CSS panel to do this today. To get there, for anybody who doesn't know, go down to your dashboard, go down to Appearance, and then Customize. I've already got my open. It'll actually take you to this page here. And I'm using the additional CSS panel just down here. Okay, well, I've got that engaged at the moment. Here's the code I wrote for it. Let's get rid of that and we'll start from scratch. Let's just publish and refresh this page. Great, let's go back in here. And our little effect's gone. Okay, this was just a very simple custom header that we built to demo our mega menu that we built a couple of videos ago. Not much to it, but the thing that they wanted to Customize obviously other menu items themselves. Okay, and I'm going to use my Chrome inspector. I'm going to right click and inspect the anchor tag up there or the menu link. Most browsers have this nowadays. If yours doesn't, Chrome's a free download. Great, let's drag this up close to where we want to work. And it's highlighted the anchor tag there, the A tag, anchor tag. So we need to start giving it our own styles here. First thing I want to do is give it a border on the bottom which will act as the menu hover underline. So I'm going to say border, bottom. I'm going to make it two pixels wide. I'm going to make it solid. And I'm going to make it blue in color. And there we have it. It's put it right there. If I highlight this again, you'll see there's a lot of green space there, top and bottom. That's padding. So I want to take that down a little bit. I notice it's got the padding down here, 31 picks. So we may have to overwrite the styles using important. Don't like to use that if I don't have to, but sometimes you have to. So let's say padding. I'm going to give mine five picks top and bottom and zero left and right. So let's give it five picks and zero. Now nothing seems to have changed up there, but if we hover back over here, You'll see there is just five pixels of padding top and bottom. The reason that there's still that space there is because this content is aligned in the center. They're using Flexbox here. So we need to align it to the bottom, which would be Flex End. We've got Align Item Center here. That's how I know they're using Flexbox there. Plus it says it over here. So let's copy that Align Item Center. I'm going to drop it in just below this. Where it says center, I'm going to double click. I'm going to go in there and change that to flex end. And it's prompted me, so I'll just pop that in there. And as you can see, that's popped that down there. And we've got our underline, a decent five pixels distance from it there. Obviously, change it to whatever you want. So really, we need to push this back up. So let's do that with a bit of margin, regular margin on the bottom. So I'm going to say margin bottom. And let's try... 25 pixels or something like that. 25 px. That's not too bad. It's a little high there. Let's drop it back down just a little bit. I kind of want to align it up with the others. When we actually make this, when we actually publish this code, it's going to do all of those anchor tags for us. So let's try maybe 20. It's not going to be quite enough. What you can do, you can select it, left click and select the 20, then roll up and down with your mouse till it's exactly where you want it. 23, yeah, I think 23 is gonna work perfectly for me. Maybe 24, there we go. Okay, but obviously adjust it however you want it, however you wanna adjust yours. Okay, we're working with this anchor tag here and it's under a main class of ET menu nav, if I highlight this, you can see it selects it all up there. So I'm gonna grab this class name right here. Just double left click and copy it, Control C. Let's move this down so we can write our code over here. 
always a good idea to give your code a title, makes it a lot easier to find, which is forward slash star star forward slash. In between the two stars, you can write anything you want, it won't be read as code. So I'm going to say menu hover. Great. Now we copy that class name. All class names have to have a dot or a period in front. There's the dot. Paste the class name in there, control V. And we want to affect the anchor tag, the A tag, remember. So it's ET menu nav space A. We can now open and close some curly brackets and copy what we did over here. Let's go back to our A tag there. Because we've written this in the Chrome Inspector here, if I was to refresh this now, this would all disappear and it would return to normal. We need to write it into our additional CSS and publish it before it becomes permanent. So I've left clicked and selected all of that. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna paste it in between my curly brackets over here. And there it is right there. It looks like we've got a little problem here. I think that's with the padding. So let's just force that with the important, which is exclamation mark important. Yeah, that's work. We need to adjust these over here, which I think will be the flex end. Let's just copy the important and add it to that. Let's pull that down a little bit. Let's take some of this margin off the bottom here. Let's maybe make that 20 again. Yeah, it looks like we need to force it again. So we're overwriting some styles. Great, well that's in the right place for me, but we need to have it a hover effect. I don't want to see this blue line at all until we actually hover over one of these. And I also want to change that color there to match our little border. Now the color I want for this today is the blue perhaps on my logo. Let's close up my inspector here. I've got a free chrome color picker up here. I'm going to just go ahead and get this color. There it is. And let's change that border color. Now that was a hex color. Border bottom. Instead of blue. As it's a hex color, I need a hashtag in front of it. And then paste the number. So it's the same color as my actual logo there. Once we refresh, that's going to change color for us too. Great. But like I say, I don't want to see that at all until we start hovering over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole thing from the dot of the ET menu to the closing curly bracket there. Control C, I'm going to drop down. And we want to create a hover effect. So after the A for the anchor tag with no space there, I'm going to put a colon and the word hover. No gap after the colon. To create a hover state. Now what I'm going to do is change that color up here from that hex color to transparent. It's still going to be there but it's going to disappear. Like I say when I refresh it'll do this to that one too. Now when I hover over our new one's going to appear right there. But I want the actual link itself to be that same color. So I can delete anything we haven't changed here which is all of this on the bottom here. Don't need to have two of the same there because we haven't changed anything. But I am going to change the color. Now we're affecting the link so it changes the same color as the underline there. So let's say color. And we'll paste in that hex color we've got up here. Now it changes that same color. Now it's not quite as strong as the bottom color. It's changing but it's kind of pale which makes me think the opacity is down a bit on that. So we can change that by bringing the opacity back up. And again, we might have to overwrite the default style here. I'm going to say opacity 1. And I'm going to say important. And that should do it. Let's put a semicolon on there. Now let's take a look. That's better. It's a deeper blue for that link now. And that's all there is to it. It's slightly different I know from doing the default one but it's pretty easy and like I say I'll put this code down below these classes and things should work for you so let's publish our code make sure this is going to work on the front end let's go over we'll refresh this page and there's our little anchor links right there nice little effect to have on your site 
And of course, for our Mega Menu, it won't make any difference because that's a, just a regular button. So I hope that's answered your question for you. And don't forget the codes down below. So there you go, guys. There's how to add a nice little underline hover effect to a little Divi theme custom menu. If you have any questions, put them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.